this video is a little different. I want to give this guy here a fair shake. I want to translate for you exactly what he's saying. I posted this video a couple days ago and you're seeing it everywhere, right? Lips up TikTok posted it. Uh, that's where I got it from about this illegal alien, uh, I believe he's Venezuelan, telling his people, other illegal aliens, how to squat into a home. I'm going to give you a full translation of it because nobody else is doing it. He, he mentioned several things here. He mentions that Africans gave him the code. He gave, he, you know, he tells you that he can actually even sell the property eventually. So I'm going to give you a full translation. And then I'm going to give you my reaction of what it actually means because of those comments that you beautiful people post and how the law doesn't apply in every state. Like this idiot would know that. Like this idiot would sit there and say, well, not in Florida, not in Texas. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, look at the progressive states where I can go ahead and squat. No, he's got 4 million followers plus, and all these people are listening to his message and saying, I'm just going to find a home that is vacant or that looks like he needs rehabbing. I'm going to break in it and I'm going to take over it. I'm going to get away with it. Eventually I can sell it and whatever. That's what people are hearing. Understand that. That's what these idiots are hearing. Eventually, they're going to break into homes that are not vacant, and they're going to want to make it vacant by taking the people out, and you Democrats are going to defend them. Watch. My people, I've been thinking, okay, about invading a home in the United States. Now that I learned a, a law, okay, that says that if there is a home which is not inhabited, vacant, That is correct. He says we can seize it. We can take over it. Well, this is a part of the video where I ask you that if you find any value in the content produced by this channel, please consider sharing and hitting the subscribe button. It helps out a lot. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Now back to the video. Here in the United States also applies the invasion of property. He's talking about a law, okay? He's talking about that here in the United States also applies the law of invasion of terrain, invasion of property. Do you hear that anywhere else? And I think that that will now be my next business venture. To invade properties that are abandoned. Ya que me he unos con mis now that I found some codes with my African friends, whatever that means, you don't hear that anywhere else. Okay? So he's saying that some African friends, I can only assume also uh, illegal aliens that are Africans. Okay, giving him the instructions on how to do it and giving him some coats, some coaching from the African friends. And now he's passing it on to his uh, Tren de Aragua gang members and uh, all those illegal aliens. Oh, you got you got it coming to you. And the Africans, the African friends already told me that they've done this with about seven homes already that they've inhabited, that they're already invaded. And how the saying goes, you have to find a way. See, here it says the return in the round or the return. But what he's saying is you have to find a way. Hay que buscar la vuelta means you have to find a way.
And the way right now is to invade homes. And the way right now is to invade homes. Vuelta also means you have to find a hustle. And the hustle right now is to invade homes. So what he's saying with that is that his new venture, his new hustle, because you have to find a hustle, you have to find a way, is invading homes. Now that we find ourselves being thrown out in the streets. And it's the only way that we have in order to not be in the streets. To take Americans' homes. <laughs> this is the part that really irritates me when he says that. So here he says, we have to do this. We have to take over these homes because we find ourselves now being thrown out in the streets. And... We have to do it in order to not be in the streets and also to not be a public burden. To not be a public burden, a burden to society. So let's be a burden to society. Let's be criminals so we're not a burden to society. They think different than you. I keep saying it. The law says, he's explaining the law here. He says, the law says that those houses who are which are abandoned, that are deteriorated or uh, in need of rehab, I butcher that word, you know, but that's what he's saying with this. We can get in there and repair them, live in them, and even if we're able to, Sell them. So the law says, according to what he's saying, the law says we can break into the house, we can do few repairs, and if we're able to, go ahead and sell it. Mm. Even to ask for credit, to apply for credit with these homes. This guy is informed, right? According to him. You can even ask for credit for this. What do you say? This has a call to action. So this is the part that you continue, especially you uh, dumb liberals, do not understand. They're here to take what is yours and that's the bottom line. They've been told that they can take what is yours and that's the bottom line. They've been told that you're weak. Again, and I do understand why you guys say, oh, that law doesn't apply everywhere. They do not care where these laws apply. The message that those 4 million followers are hearing is break into a home. If he needs work, do the work so you can sell the homes or apply for credit. If they're vacant, just move in it. They ain't going to kick you out. The law protects you. They're hearing that. And United States is just United States. Where I come from, when you go to the United States, you don't say I'm going to the United States. You say you're going to New York. We understand that everything is New York or Miami. Soon, they're going to be breaking into these homes according to these instructions, and they seem to pay out. Why would they not believe what this guy is saying? Why would they not believe that they can do that in every state? All they hear in the news is how they are victims, how Trump bad, how people who do not support illegal immigration are racist and how they are victims so they must be giving housing and credit cards and food while a homeless are out in the streets and our veterans are just out in the streets as well. Why would they not believe it? Why would they not say, yeah, I believe that that's some, that, that looks like right to me. That's America. They're dumb enough to allow this. There's no way that they're not that stupid. And I understand your comments, guys. I understand that you say, well, try that in my home. Of course, you know, try that in my home. See if you don't find yourself with a, a chest full of lead. I get that. But how about your daughter in college? 
How about your son in college? This is completely and absolutely out of control. And I know for a fact that um, you Americans, you are going to be done with it. You're going to get sick of it. And when you do, it's going to get ugly. Understand that us legal migrants do not support this at all. And we know we're going to end up paying some bro for some broken dishes here very soon because eventually we're going to be judged just like an illegal immigrant, just like anybody. By the way, I will understand it. The borders are open. You don't know who's who, you know, and, and um, even though my, you know, my community, legal migrants are more opposed to this than many of you, more opposed to this illegal immigration, doesn't matter. You know, we're trying to speak up. We're trying to vote properly. But it's uh, Democrats and the liberal media and those dumb, 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 dumb white liberals that are supporting all of this. Uh, you know, and unfortunately, there is more of you than there is of us. You know, I just hope that you guys see really what's happening. This is about the destruction of your judeo christian beliefs of the fabric of this country and more importantly the looting as much as they can the beliefs that made this country great the culture that made this country great the idea is to dilute as much as they can white people that is a fact they have to dilute you. The government, in order to take over the way they want to take over, they know that they have to dilute that white American culture, that white American pride. They have to dilute it. Because historically, and everybody knows it all throughout the world, and I've been around, is that there is nothing more dangerous than a pissed off American. Once you guys are done, and I don't understand how you're not done yet, but once you guys are done, it's done. It's done. And, um, and the government knows it. So, you guys have to be painted as bad for everything. For everything. We have to dilute your children. They have to dilute manliness in this country. Right now, you have a bunch of soy boys. That great American thing is getting dissolved. And they have to do it like that. They're patient. They have to do it like that in order for them to fully take over. Because, again, when Americans get... When you guys are done, there is nobody that can stop you. And the government knows it. So the only way they can stop you is by deluding you. By making you guilty of being who you are don't allow it anyways if you like this content please hit the subscribe button and um, help me spread the word i think we need to start sticking together more than we do god bless you have a great day